it's a face-off as COVID-19 cases spike, growing calls to keep your face covered. Face coverings are game changers. It's going to be required. In fact, at least 24 states and countless cities and counties have orders in place requiring people to wear face coverings in public. But what's right for you, a mask or a face shield? I would wear a face shield as the preferred face covering in public over a homemade mask, over a surgical mask. Dr. Amish Adalja is an infectious disease doctor at Johns Hopkins University. Help people understand why is a face shield effective? Not only does it cover your mouth and your nose, it also covers your eyes. And we know that the eyes are an important route of infection. We know that people who wear masks are touching their face constantly to adjust them. When you wear a face shield, that really is not an issue. These face shields are definitely a different look and feel than the mask. For starters, it's a lot easier to talk and to breathe while wearing them. And I don't have to adjust it once I put it on. Plus, I can actually even drink while wearing it. And a bonus, the facial recognition on my phone works. But after wearing a mask for the past few months, it is a strange sensation to have so much open space underneath my chin and around the side of my face. When I wear a mask, you can see it covers my nose, my mouth, and my chin without any big gaps. The CDC recommends we wear face coverings like this because they capture our germs and prevent them from spreading to others. So which one is better? So far, no studies have been done to compare the two when it comes to COVID-19. But a 2014 study looked at how well face shields blocked flu droplets. Researchers used a cough simulator and found that face shields reduced a person's exposure to large cough droplets by 96 percent. But smaller droplets were able to flow around the shield and be inhaled. The World Health Organization has now acknowledged coronavirus may linger in the air and could be responsible for outbreaks of COVID-19 reported in restaurants, nightclubs, work, and places of worship. Still, Dr. Adalja says he believes face shields are effective because of the way that droplets move in the air. The face shield seems to have a lot of openings down by your mouth and chin area. Does that reduce their effectiveness? You want to make sure that the face shield goes down to at least your chin. And there is definitely going to be an opening there. But I don't think that, that you're seeing many people get infected where a droplet comes down and then goes back up. Most of those are going to fall to the ground under the action of gravity. Dr. Adalja says cloth masks prevent you from spreading the virus. But he thinks face shields offer two-way protection. However, the CDC currently does not recommend using face shields for normal activities or as a substitute for cloth face coverings. And research shows masks prevent the spread of COVID-19 by containing germs. <coughs> Back in June, with help from a Columbia University microbiologist, we showed you how three different masks contain bacteria and droplets from my cough, droplets that could carry coronavirus. Nothing grew on the Petri dishes when I had my nose and mouth covered, but look at what grew when I didn't. Whether it's a shield or a mask, public health experts agree covering your nose and mouth will reduce the spread of COVID-19. Now, healthcare workers have worn face shields for years, usually in addition to a mask because they have higher exposure to sick patients. And Hoda, you have a face shield I brought for you to try. Yeah. I'll put one on too. So, You'll feel the difference right away. See? Yeah. Done. Set it and forget it. You don't need to adjust it, and it just stays on, and it's very lightweight. Very I have comfortable. to admit, after I saw your story, can you still hear me? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I ordered some online, but um, do you think people should rush out? I like the idea of you're not touching your face because you can't. You can't, really. and you're not inclined to. Yeah. So, no, you don't have to run out and order these. The CDC says that mask is still the gold standard. But if you have breathing issues, talk to your doctor. This could be a partial solution for when you're walking around outside. If you're inside, I would advise you should still wear a mask because of the indoor air circulation issues. And let's say you're on a plane, I'd wear both. You have the eye protection, you've got the mask. It may seem like overkill, but I don't want to get sick. Well, it's kind of, it's comfortable. Um, I wonder, because some states have rules, like you have to wear masks. Does this work? If you say, I've got this on, am I good? It depends on the state. New York, for example, just said these are allowed to be worn in the place of a face mask. But think about this. A lot of businesses now have signs in the window saying mask required. It's un clear if they think this is okay. So I would always keep a mask with me. And if you order this one and you showed me, there's like a really thin, thin yes. layer of something you got to peal off. And it, otherwise, that is a pro tip. Yeah, I'm so glad you important. mentioned that. Yeah, it's important to do. All right, Vicki. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.